Okay, welcome to Mr. Tim Check's class. Today, uh, his lesson is going to be about trusses. So, all the previous lessons have been about rafters, and the other way to have a roof system is to have trusses uh, framed up. So, most of the time, trusses are prefabricated in a factory. Um, they're specified by the engineers of what they need to be. There's a lot of different types. Um, you can make them on the job site, but it's very rare because it's time consuming to make it on a job site. It's much better to just have a factory, make them have a big flat surface like this. Um, they, you know, you still got to cut all the pieces out, but, uh, there's a big stamping machine that puts the nail, uh, plate connectors onto your two line material and it keeps it all nice and flat and builds them, uh, perfectly for you. How do you get these to the job site is a big uh, uh, tr uh, truck with a big trailer. Um, sometimes, you know, depending on the size of the building, you need like 60 foot <clears throat> trusses. And sometimes the trailers can get pretty long. But that's how you can get them to the job site from the factory. Um, what trusses are really is a bunch of triangles. The strongest shape there is is a triangle. It's made up of three main pieces, the top cords, which look like rafters, but without any bird's mouth, and a bottom cord. Now, the uh, bottom cord, uh, you know, kind of it sits on the uh, top plates. And then you have what's inside, this W here, that's called the webbing. And there's a lot of different types of trusses out there. Simple ones, which is just like a king post. There's the, you know, fink is one of the most common. All right. Or a howl, like the double fink, you know, or the double howl. Those are those are probably your more, most common that you'll see. What connects all these is these nail plates. And they're kind of these nasty things. Um, they're almost like barbs at the end. And there's like, you can see all of them there and they connect two pieces of wood together to attach the truss pieces together and they're either pressed in by a machine or you can't hammer them on now when you put these things on they are once you hammer it or pressed on and you gotta change it they're really hard to get off probably gonna destroy the wood and definitely gonna destroy the uh, nail connector trying to get some, one of these things off but they do they do work very effectively the new stuff made by simpson strong tie um it's like a plate with a bunch of holes in it and you can just screw them together i guess it might be faster if you gotta um make a make a, if you're just building a small shed and you want to make it on the fly but that's what that nail plate looks like this is uh something in a factory all right you can tell like everything's cut perfectly and you know, because it's like there's these braces here, and that's how you match them up, and that's how you make them. So you can like repeatedly make the cuts form, and then like press it down. It's it's pretty quick. And if you're gonna make it on a job site, one thing you can do is make these plywood gussets, and they're made out of uh, just OSB or simple plywood, and you can use this as something to connect your uh, uh, framing members of the truss itself very effective you glue it on and then you nail it a bunch and it really keeps them on so that's like a homemade one looks great looks beautiful probably took a long time to make all right it's not it's not something that you can do super quick but it is effective all right trusses are cheaper overall to build uh, rafter takes a lot more time, labor to cut and install. Uh, we can see, like when we were like building our small houses in the shop, you know, laying out the rafters and everything like that, uh, making those cuts perfect. That definitely takes time. It's a lot easier just to order the trusses and have them delivered, and then you can just pop them right in. So even though you got to pay for them in the long run, it's a lot cheaper. Trusses are easier to install for sure. Um, if you've got a lot of workers or like a crane, you can definitely just fit them in 
Um, usually if you can get th two, three guys, you know, one guy on either wall and one guy up top, it goes pretty fast. So you need these three up there to attach the uh, supports before you put the uh, sheathing on. All right. When you're setting the trusses, it's handy you have a crane instead of pulling it up here. You can see there's a rope here, and you kind of pull it up, and that kind of sets it for you. Um, you can see the crane operating here. Sets them right when you need it. You need a minimum of three guys. You need someone in the middle to attach them, and you got two on the end. So something that's modern nice is how you nail these trusses on the old way is like this two on the side one from the top easy enough now you can do this uh it's like a whole system or you can get these truss screws so you screw from the bottom uh the uh, top plate and you go all the way into the truss and or you can have like this metal connection um uh, you know, God told thing that kind of does it for you. Uh, both are good, and it really makes a stronger connection than just the nails. Um, rafters allow buildings to have attic space. You know, trusses have all that webbing. It kind of uh, closes in the space for you. It doesn't you don't have enough room? So there's that. Um, just, I mean, you could make it like a lot of people kind of like finish their upstairs and you can have another bedroom or two. Trusses you can't do that with. Uh, rafters also allow you to have uh, modification. Since rafters are already custom made, uh, you can like customize it further if you want to do like your remodeling or put like a dormer in. Now, if you like, you can't really do that so much with trusses because you can't really take all that. Uh, Framing it apart so easily because it's all kind of like a, a system to make sure it's structurally sound. So, I mean, not saying it's impossible to take it apart, but it's definitely not exactly ideal to try to change trusses. Now, if you're going to build like a, uh, a bunch, if you're like a local home builder that's going to build a lot of homes, the production house framing, but like Ryan homes, you're going to use trusses. Uh, it's just a lot it goes a lot faster. The whole point is that of these houses that you get a lot of bang for your buck The houses go up fast and you get a lot of room now That is uh, One way uh, To do it. like they're gonna have trusses. So it's just a pretty much a basic simple roof Now this is a custom-built house here with a lot of different um, pitches and uh, pitches and uh, hips and valleys and when you have all that all right it's going to change things up a little bit and it's uh i'm going to be you're going to use rafters because you can't have trusses doing all these hips and valleys and stuff like that trusses are also common in barns because you can have a large span without any walls uh, holding it up you know just like this is a basic pole barn all right, you're going to want to use trusses because uh, there's nothing going to be holding uh, up the middle. So you, uh, trusses, you can do that. Where rafters, you can only go so far. So this is like big trusses right here. I'm spanning a very long way, and that's just one way you could do it. All right, especially like with a cattle barn, you want a bunch of walls in the middle, you're going to definitely be setting trusses. All right, that completes our lesson on trusses.